All right, so in this video, what I want to do is teach you about timers. I'm going to give you a really good introduction to timers. I'm going to try to kind of go over everything, all right? Um, probably, hopefully not get too deep. We'll, we'll do, we will do that later on for each individual timer. But for right now, I want to talk about all timers. And then I'm also going to talk about all the different bits. And I'm going to try to show you how they are used in the code, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the timer tab. I'm going to pull out all three of our different timers. So we have a timer on delay, we've got a timer off delay, and we've got a retentive timer. All right. So how these work is a timer on delay will turn on when the rung becomes true. So when I press this button, turns this instruction on, the rung becomes true, this timer will start. If I was to take this instruction, and if I was to press this button, this is a timer off delay. So when I release this button, it goes from true to false, this timer will start. It's not that simple. There are some different output bits that do some different things, um, and we're gonna get to those in a minute, but just know that this one, when this rung becomes false, goes from true to false, this timer is gonna start. And then the last one is gonna be our retentative timer. So retentative timer is um, a timer that actually will uh, accumulate time to the preset and it will not, it'll retain it, it won't lose it, okay? So if we were gonna set something up where we wanted to, um, I don't know, you know, change a filter every 30 days, we would use a retentative timer to be counting those days because it would never stop. And, it, and then if the power goes out, it would not lose that time base. Well, I'm not sure about the power, hopefully it wouldn't go out. Um, so what we're going to do now is I want to, I want to set up a timer and I want to show you guys, I want to talk about some of the output bits. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to delete these guys, hopefully. And I'm actually going to go in here. I'm going to insert another rung. So you guys remember when we worked with the, um, timers in motor controls and how the motor control timers had a contact inside of them that could become normally open or normally closed. Well, a timer in a PLC is works much the same way, but it actually has more flexibility and it actually, you, you can do different things with those timers, okay? Or those timer outputs. So we will call them bits. What we have here is if we look at our data file for timers, which we always keep kind of going back to these data files, right? Um, we have these three categories right here. The, the timer enable, the timer timing, and the timer done. I'm gonna explain those here in a second. These other two right here are gonna be the timer preset and the timer um, accumulation, okay? So this one would be used if you wanted to like put in a math instruction and kind of like, I don't know, create some sort of countdown or have lights that turn on every second or something like that, I don't know. Um, this this is kind of a this is more tricky stuff that I I don't play with too much. Um, the EN and the TT and the DN are going to be the most popular. These are the ones that everybody's going to use. Okay, so these ones will come later. We're going to play with this one. I know in math the math instructions, but for right now we're going to focus on these three output bits. Okay, and what they will do is they will become true at different times based on what the timer does. And I'm going to set up all three. So the explanation goes like this. A timer enable bit will come on when the timer is true and it will stay on forever as long as the rung is true that's hooked to that timer. The timer timing will time for the time that the timer is on, okay? So if you set it the timer for five seconds, it will be on for five seconds. This is a timer done. Now, this one will come on when the timer is done, right? Well, and we'll pull this up here a little bit when we get the timer actually up and running. And I'm going to show you these again. Close this. The first thing that we're going to need to do to set up this, this program that I got going here is we need to actually address our timers. So remember T4 down here? Well, this, this one's going to magically start with a T4 colon zero. Okay. Now, again, you have tons of timers. Every time you want to change to a different timer, you need to change this, this last number here. To a different number okay you can't reuse the same timer over and over again it doesn't like it so what we're gonna do oops I'll just 
I've lost my mouse. Okay, there it is. This is our, gonna be our timer base, meaning the timer is gonna work in uh, one second, a tenth of a second, or a hundredth of a second, depending on what you want, okay? We're just gonna set ours for, for one. It's the one I like the most. And then we can set our preset. So our preset's gonna be however much time we want it to time for. I've been, I've ran through this once before with some people. I like 10 seconds to kind of show things off. It goes a little bit slow, but it's better than nothing. So the accumulate right here, this is gonna go give us an actual running number of where we are at in this time. So if it's gonna, as soon as we make the run true, this one's gonna start counting. And as soon as it gets to 10, the timer will be done, okay? So now let's talk about some of our output instructions here. So we can go ahead and we're gonna click on these and they're gonna be addressed much the same way as our uh, timer over here was. So except for it's gonna be T4 colon zero slash whichever bit that we wanna use. So we're gonna start off and I'm gonna use the TT. So I want it to be the timer timing bit. I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. We know it's the correct bit because it already has the same name as our timer. We're gonna go ahead and type in uh, T4 colon zero slash DN. So this one will be our done bit. Hit okay. And then we're gonna type in T4 colon zero slash EN. And this one will be our timer enable bit, okay? And I'm just gonna make all these B3s over here. Um, that way they can kind of run and what I'll do is we'll just be able to see that the outputs are turning on and that way you can uh, know what's happening. All right. So again, I'm going to explain this and then we're going to download and go and talk about this. So I'm going to press this button right here. This instruction will become true. This timer will turn on because this is a timer on delay. It's going to then start moving these bits around, right? The first bit will turn on when as soon as the rung becomes true because it's going to time for the amount of time the timer is on. So this one will come on. It will stay on for 10 seconds because that's my preset right here. And then after 10 seconds, it will turn off. This one is a timer, uh, timer done bit. What's going to happen is we're going to make the rung true. It's going to time for 10 seconds. And then this bit's going to turn on. Okay. And then finally, we have our timer enabled. And this is probably the least popular uh, bit out of all of them. What happens is we're gonna press the button, this one will turn on and it's just gonna stay on, okay? It's more of a switch than anything else. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna download this. Now we are up and running. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna press and hold my button because with a timer, it always has to have a rung of true to keep it going. As soon as the rung of true is broken, the timer will reset. So I'm gonna press the button. You're gonna see that it's gonna start accruing time here. First of all, we can notice that my timer timing is on. It's gonna be on for 10 seconds. And then once it hits 10, it turns off, okay? Notice my timer done is now on. Start. It's on because our timer is done. And then finally our enable, it just came on and stayed on the whole time and it will never change. I'm gonna release the button and look, it resets the timer. So I can start timer the timer again. Again, the timer timing is on. I'm gonna hit get to like five. If I release the button, it's gonna reset that timer. So there's a little trick you know, now know is that anytime you wanna reset a timer, you just need to break the path of true. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go offline. Oops, oops, I did it right. And I want to change this to a timer off delay. Enter. We're going to go ahead and download again. All right. So now when I press the blue button, you're going to see the timer bits do some different stuff. The timer done is already on. And as soon as I and notice that the timer is not timing it is just sitting here waiting as soon as i release this button watch it's going to become false the timer now starts okay and the timer timing is running right now as soon as it hits 10 all of this is going to turn off okay pretty pretty uh pretty interesting a lot more confusing than using our timer a timer on delay so let's go ahead and go offline i want to throw this ti retentive timer in here RTO. We're going to 
download. All right, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna press the button and you're gonna see it's gonna start accruing time. I'm gonna release the button. Notice it keeps that three seconds there. It's, it's accumulating or it's retaining that time. I'm gonna then press the button again. Notice that the instructions are working based off of what's happening here, okay? Hits 10, it's done. And now notice that it, it does not, um, it doesn't matter if the rung becomes false, it does not reset itself. So we actually have to go in and put a reset bit in, and I'm gonna explain that when we actually get to our, our retentive timer, okay? So we're gonna go offline again, and I wanna go back, I wanna show you one last thing that hopefully uh, drives home this these output bits for you guys. So we'll go back, we're gonna go back online. Yes, yes. Arr, perfect. And I want to pull up this timer chart or this this data file. I'm sorry. And I want you to watch these three bits as I press that button. See how we have the enable is on and the timer timing is on. And then we're going for our 10 seconds again. You can also see that this thing is accumulating right over here. Boom, we hit it. We're now the timer done is on and the timer timing is off. So that's all I have for our introduction to timers. Like I said, we're going to dig way more into each one individually. So go ahead and move on.